Hello and welcome. Here at eForex, we have multiple trading platforms to choose from. One of our trading platforms is the WinTrader platform that you're looking at now. The WinTrader platform is a very simple to use platform with a very large amount of functionality. What I want to do today is get an opportunity to show you some of the functionality in this WinTrader platform. Today what we're going to go over is how to identify charts, enlarge and shrink charts, the different places that you can place an order, where your order history is located, and where you can locate some of your trading history uh, and how much margin and equity you have available to you. When you initially log in to the WinTrader platform, this is what your screen will look like. Now, on the left-hand side, you're going to see all of your dealing rates are located right here. The dealing rates are the cost of uh, buying or selling each of the currency, currency pairs. Uh, as you take a look here, you've got the Euro US dollar listed here at the top and you can see that the sell price of the Euro US dollar is fluctuating between 74 and 75 and a half and the buy price is somewhere between 76 and 78 and a half. Very simple, if you wanted to place an order in this currency, ultimately what you would do is one way is to go over either the buy side or the sell side and just simply click on the button. When clicking on the button, you can see that the amount is highlighted. You'll then put in the amount that you'd like to trade. The rate that you're actually going to be quoted at. And what you can see here is, is as the rates fluctuate, they change here. So you're getting the most accurate quote possible. And you just simply click the OK button. And in doing so, what you're going to see is you're going to see that down here, your account information is going to start to change a bit. What I would do is I'm going to grab this account information, just move it up a little bit. Here under these tabs, after you're in a trade, you can see your balance in your account, the actual available equity that you have in the account, uh, how much you have in usable margin. All of the information is here, but what you're going to also want to pay quite a bit of attention to is your open positions tab. All of your tabs down here provide for you all of your information as far as trade history, trade activity, closed positions here, orders. Uh, all of the information that you're going to want is ultimately going to be found on these tabs. Let's take a look at the open positions. Under open position you can see my account number, account Owner, it's a system account because this is just a demo account. Again, a ticket number is assigned to it, the amount that I traded. Uh, you get the ability to actually take a look and see what my actual profit and loss is here. I can grab this and just move it over. You can also enlarge this to full screen. Give yourself the ability to see everything. And again, just right here at this tab, shrink it back down. All of your account history is going to be found down here on these tabs. So make sure and pay close attention to that. Let's get this back lined up. Now, directly above this, you're going to see the charts. And the charting in the WinTrader platform is a uh, very, very good charting. It's nice, it's simple, it's easy to use, uh, very easy to change time frames. One of the many ways to change your charts up here is right here at this drop down window here. You can see a list of all of the available charts that the WinTrader platform actually supports through us here at eForex. As you scroll down, if you decide you want to take a look at an Aussie Yen chart, once you get to it, you highlight it, double click on top of it, and it loads the data di directly there for you. In the instance that you want to change the time frame that you're taking a look at, you can do per tick. That means every time a tick gets through, you can actually see every tick as it goes through. This is a one minute time frame, and it can fluctuate. You can get all the way through to a, a minute, five minutes, hours, days, weeks, and months whatever it is that you want to trade, whatever time frame you're looking for. Some of your more popular charts are going to be listed right here at the top for you. You can literally just click on the tab. It pulls up all of the individual charts that you're looking for directly there. And again, you can see immediate buy sell prices. If you wanted to enter into a trade immediately, another way to be able to do so is from the buy and sell buttons here directly. Again, just click on them and the exact same screen pops up. That's an option for you. You can right click here on the chart and actually buy and sell directly from the chart as well. Variety of different places that you have the ability to buy and sell. Uh, what we want to do now is let's talk about how do you close a position. And uh, closing a position is again very easy. There are a number of different ways to be able to close a position. Uh, one of them is just going to the active position and you can see that again under open positions here on the bottom tab. You go over the active position and right click and just simply select close position. By uh, closing the position, and we'll just go ahead and close the position. 
by closing the position, notice that the open position that was in the open positions tab is now gone. Obviously now go to the closed positions tab and you can see the closed position here. Uh, again, opportunity to blow it up full screen. You can take a look, net profit and loss. You can see here we had a small profit on this. Uh, lot profit and loss. Gives you all of the information. The nice thing about this is, is if you go back now, you'll see all of your account information has now been updated as well. You now have a $10,004 balance. And you can see that running all the way through. Usable margin, $10,004.